Elections are only days away in Nigeria. The presidency and seats in parliament are being contested. But critics say one group is having too much influence on the votes, state governors. I think a lot of anger about governance in Nigeria actually goes to these governors because the impunity of these governors, their misrule, their bad governance uh, is part of the pain that Nigerians are going through. Since Nigeria's return to democracy in 1999, state governors have influenced who becomes president. With full access to state funds and resources, they can choose candidates for political office. Anybody aspiring to be president, of course, he will have to uh, take routes through the governors because of the uh, connectivity of the governors and the grassroots. But critics and activists say such power is harming democracy and governance in Nigeria, and they want it reduced. Limiting their powers will require amendment to the constitution and the electoral law. But with increasing number of governors getting elected into a parliament that's supposed to make these changes, Nigerians will have to wait longer for that to happen. Some are hoping these elections will mark a turnaround, with a woman now the front runner for a state governor post, a big step in a male-dominated society. But until then, little is expected to change party politics and governors in Africa's most populous country. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Maiduguri.